Hi everyone and welcome along to Sonic Academy with me, Chris. Uh, in this quick tip, tip, I'm going to show you how to build a kit in EXS24. Search for a specific type of sound uh, to build that kit. Uh, it's a quick way of making a clap kit or a snare kit with various types of snares across it. So let's quickly open up an EXS24. And let's go and create a new kit. But wait, there's no edit button. Uh, this is a question I get asked quite a lot. Uh, is when people try to follow these, they go, where's where's the edit button? Uh, in a fresh copy, by default, Logic has these advanced tools switched off. So go to Logic, Preferences, Advanced Tools. And here you can see the additional options uh, of audio editing, surround, MIDI, control services, score, uh, advanced editing. We can enable all or enable none. Uh, it all depends. And you can now see that the edit button has magically appeared, so we can get rid of that. Uh, and what I'm going to do is quickly create a new instrument of claps. I want to build a, a you know, uh, a kit of, of various different claps. So if I go to edit, go to new instrument. So we've now created a new instrument. And we're going to load multiple samples uh, to this instrument. And it's asking me where do you want to load them. I'm going to navigate to my audio samples and here I've got drum machine samples. Uh, this is a, a, a pack available on the web of nearly every drum machine built. Uh, some of them are well recorded, some of them not so well recorded. You have to go in and edit the starts and stuff. But I want to build a sort of retro clap kit of, from, you know, uh, old analog machines. And if I just go into here and go claps. Now it defaults to search this Mac, but I just want to search this drum machine samples folder. And you can see we have folders in here. And we have also individual claps. So the RUN clap is from the drum emulator. And we can play that. So we like that. We're going to add. And then we have Lin. And we like that. So we'll add that. And... We want all these. Yeah, they sound good. So we'll add. And you just keep flicking through. Add. You've 60 slots. Well, you've no, you've got many more than that, but that'll take you, you know, from C1 to uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, C7. Uh, so if you have an expansive keyboard. And I build these all the time. I really enjoy, you know, just going through. So let's add this. You know, just we're, we're at the moment, we're just randomly adding stuff. Here's, you know, TR, or sorry, the uh, Alicia's SR18. There's a 909, add that. And so there we're done. And we're going to add them uh, continuous zones starting at C1. So we'll start here. Bump. And there we have all these different claps. Now they're all uh, by default again, they're all on one shot. So if we up A everything and click off one shot. So. And then we save as, so we can save this instrument as, so uh, let me see, Chris Drums, and uh, Drum Machine Kits, and so let's go to Clap Kit 5. And then you can start layering these claps, and create new claps. So there you go, that's, uh, I'll show you just another quick use for it. Uh, say, so we go to new instrument and load multiple samples and we go back to, sorry, uh, my audio samples and say for instance, ultimate drums two. If I just again, search for clap and 
specific in Ultimate Drums 2, there is all the house and tech house, prog house claps within those single drums. There, there's no kits built for those within the packs, but you can go and quickly search for the... Go and search and, you know, quickly add... Say we want a bunch of these. Add a bunch of prog house. Add... And it tells you we have 62 files, so I know that's, you know, it's going to be past C C7, so hit done. Again, con uh, continuous zones. Again, they're all one shot, so we have to apply and click off one shot. And there's a really nice bank of claps, and again, we just save as uh, Ultimate Drums 2 claps. The best of claps. So, yeah, you can go quickly into folders and just type in a word, search for it. So you're looking for snares, clats or hats, open hats, anything, percussion. Uh, you can go and search all your sample folders and quickly drag all that in and save it as a kit. Guys, hope that was useful for you and I'll speak to you all very, very soon.